hey everyone welcome back we have a very interesting video for you today we'll be looking at the easiest way to find the foci of an ellipse and how to draw a tangent to the ellipse using the foci i'm using one of the ellipse that one of the ellipses that we drew in a previous video I'm just inserting the major and minor axes at this point and I'm just gonna go ahead and label some points on the ellipse so that it will be a bit easier to follow all right so our major axis is a B and we have C up at the top now what we're gonna do is very simple we are going to using point C as centers we're gonna take half the major axis as our radius and we're simply going to draw arcs to cut the major axis so we have our first point there because this is AutoCAD I won't draw the second arc I'll simply mirror it like this so now we have our both arcs going to label them now so remember the radius of this of these arcs is equal to half the length of our major axis on this ellipse our major axis had a length of 2,000 millimeters so the radius of our axe is 1,000 millimeters and points D and E are now our four key points all right, I just removed the dimensions just to ease up on the clutter. So what we're going to do now is we are going to identify a point on the circumference of our ellipse. I am just going to just going to draw a line just to cut the ellipse at any point. It doesn't matter where it is. And then I'm going to connect our four key points to that specific point on the circumference just going to remove that line because you don't need it anymore great so now we have a, a triangle here basically and i'm just going to name this point as well for reference So this point is called F. All right, so we have triangle or angle DFE. All right, great. So the next step is to bisect angle DFE. And in previous videos, we have gone through the process of bisecting an angle we know what to do and I'm doing this now I'm drawing an arc I use the radius of 150 millimeters and I'm drawing another two a <coughs> further two arcs excuse me and these I'm using the same radius 150 So now I, when I draw the bisecting line, this line is essentially the normal. And if we know anything about tangents, the normal is always perpendicular to the tangent. All right, I'm just bringing this line past the major axis a bit. I will go back and trim it. Sometimes when you're using AutoCAD, the, the software gets in the way, like now. You see, I, I'm using the trim command and I deleted, I cut off the rest of my major axis. So I undid it very quickly. And I left it, I left in these little bloopers so that you can see that, you know, sometimes you make mistakes and that's fine. All you do is you, you undo it or you erase it or whatever and then you go from there 
I'm just gonna label this line. This is our normal. Great. So we have our normal and now we are going to draw our tangent. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I moved F out of the way. That's some terrible editing there, but I moved F out of the way a, a bit. I'm going to lengthen the normal. I'm going to lengthen the normal because what I'm gonna do in order to get our perpendicular line, I, I could have done several things. Oh yeah, that, that, <laughs> this is AutoCAD. I don't know what happened. It just zoomed way out and I did not have control of this software. But there are several ways you can uh, get a perpendicular line. You can use the, the snap in AutoCAD and draw a line that is perpendicular. But I wanted to actually show the construction. I could have also bisected the normal. I could have done a bisecting line, which would have been perpendicular also but instead I decided to construct a 90 degree angle at the point of tangency so that's what I'm doing here now and again there are errors but once there's an error I, I quickly undo it so I already have my first arc cutting the normal in two points just like any other 90 degree angle construction and I am getting the further to the other two arcs like this and all I'll have to do from here is connect the two points from the point of tangency to the point of intersection of the two arcs all right so if you zoom in you can see the line there and i'm just going to extend it and this ladies and gentlemen is our tangent and at this point i was finished and i was looking at it and it, it you know it seemed a bit short <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty short so after changing the, the layer I decided to go back in and lengthen it a bit and how you do that is you you simply click on the line you point your cursor at one of the end boxes so you're not clicking it, you just point it until you see the option for lengthen show up. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you learned something.